Hey guys and welcome back to the Minecraft video and for this video I'm going to be visiting the zoo because I got a contact from an old friend called Mark and he said come to the zoo because he has opened up a new zoo. So far it looks really good, he's employed a few villagers here and there. I love it so much. He said as soon as you enter you should be able to find a chest. Oh and here it is. And he said I'd be able to find a book inside. Now he said I should read this book to myself and I should be prepared to do a bit of work today. So let's go and read it. it. Says, hi brothers, I have opened up a new zoo and I heard you were amazing at finding new animals. Could you help me fill up the zoo? All the best, Mark, zoo owner. I'm surprised they put that in. And of course I will help you today, Mark. He couldn't be here because he is gone somewhere to open up another zoo. I don't see why he should move on to the next zoo if he hasn't already finished this one. And it looks pretty amazing. I'm going to look around real quick. We have the main office. We have a few items here. Oh, and this is not so good. It said regarding the ghast incident. Last week, a ghast escaped from its holding pen. It was unable to be pacified, so the employees were forced to put it down. That is such a shame. That's why the animals I find today have to be ones that can't escape. So I think the perfect mod for this is the lots of mobs mod which is actually a pretty cool mod. And there is a few animals here. We have cows, we have chickens, we have pigs, we have pigs and sheep together. Now, I want something different. I want something really unique because I really want to help Mark out. So I'm going to get started in this. And let's go on our inventory. And we're going to go on our second window and click on lots of mobs spawn eggs. So we have Brontosaurus, okay, we're not going to be doing dinosaurs in this one, but we have gorillas, which is pretty cool. We have ants, one those escape, we have a bison, we have butterflies, we have a bear, we have a mammoth. Well, should I do extinct animals? No, I'm going to leave that for next time. We have cockroaches, now I don't want Mark to lose business, so I'm not going to do any cockroaches. We have turtles, which is going to be pretty cool. We have tea fishy, never heard of it, but we might as well check it out. Then we have giraffes, we have lions. Okay, so let's get started with these. Now, I am going to be looking around today for some areas that I can put new things in. So let's go and have a look. I think we have some ocelots in there. I think I saw some earlier. So I think with the ocelots, should we see what an ant looks like? Now I'm gonna put just one near the bushes. So if it gets, it escapes. So I don't think I'm gonna be using ants today. Um, purely because I don't want them to be everywhere so you can kind of see how small they are and we killed it that was a bad idea so we have a bison so let's just jump over here real quick come on perfect I think that goes with horses <laughs> they look pretty similar so let's leave that there let's put a couple it looks gorgeous and look at it it's so big they are so friendly with the horses I love them so much so let's see what else we have. We have butterflies. Should we give some fun to the horses so they aren't bored with the bisons and spawn some butterflies? I'm sure he would love us to see some butterflies around here to kind of add some atmosphere. I don't really want to trap the butterflies, so what I'm going to do is going to put them everywhere and let them roam around. So let's put these back because we've now used them. We have used the butterfly, and next we have the bear. So let's quickly leave this, close it second door you always have to be careful you can never leave a door open if you leave a door open something could escape since we apologize for the mess to learn more about the gas incident can you go to the main office thank you and it says the same that side what I'm gonna do because this area here no longer exists with a gas so I'm gonna go inside this area I'm gonna get basically a pen for the bears once I can get through this so I'm going to get rid of these because we can no longer use them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, let's put something strong because this is bears we're talking about. We cannot take anything by granted with the bears. They may escape and we don't want them to escape. So let's get rid of that. Put one there, put one there, put one there. Perfect. So far, I think this is really secure. We don't want anyone really being scared of the bears. So the more safety that everyone has, the better. So, I think Mark's going to be really happy, don't you? Perfect. I think that is perfect. Let's see, let's just look around real quick. 
Oh, this area too. I'm so thankful I looked around. If not, that bear would have escaped and there would have been another incident board in the main office. So now with the bears, let's place them down. Not like that. And let's see, should we put, how many should we put in here? There's enough space for about three, I'd say. And that is so scary. We have to hurry up. Just because we placed them real quick, they're going to be quite nice to us. But we're going to have to hurry up. So let's jump and we are out. So thank goodness we've done that. I think Mark's going to be quite happy. And to not scare people, let's get rid of these. Because now that's something that is of the past. The gas has been put down, so that's no reason to panic. Maybe the, sh the bear should have gone in there. Turtles don't want to go in ice. I know that around here there is a place to put turtles. And as turtles are so nice and passive, we're going to put them in here. So let's just jump over this. Perfect. Turtle, turtle. And these do grow old and like, you know, you can actually like grow them up. Let's put some tea fish on this side. Tea fish. I think that means like tiny fish. And this is a perfect place to put them to be honest. And that is lovely. There's quite a few in there now, so I think we're going to move on with our next items. So let's put all these back. Tea fish. And now giraffes. That's going to be an interesting one. And we have lions. Let's go and get some more items. And let's fill this place up nicely. We've got a hammer shark. We've got snakes. Triceraptors, which is a dinosaurs. We have a squirrel. Those are quite nice. We have raptors. We have a boar. Now those can be quite scary. We have a T-Rex, which I'm sure Mark does not want in his zoo. We've got a frog. We've got bullfrog. We've got a whale, which is too big for the zoo. We have a crocodile, which actually I'm not going to be using. We have a gazelle. A penguin. Oh, that can be perfect for the ice one. And we have crabs. So let's use up these. Now I wanted to just put a couple frogs here. There we go. That looks perfect. The frogs with the fish are going to be gorgeous together. Uh, I think this is a perfect pen for the giraffes. So let's just jump over real quick. Perfect. Let's put some giraffes in here. One giraffe. Oh, there's a villager inside. You might want to leave, buddy. Two giraffes. And three giraffes. Perfect. Don't you think Mark's going to be so happy when he sees this? Let's open this door. Close it. Is there no door to get out, guys? Sorry, guys. But I'm going to have to open up this area here. Yep, perfect. Because those guys are going to now be stuck in there. So I've really done them a favor. So now let's put in the penguins. This is going to be perfect. The penguins with the wolves. What should I do? I did not see those wolves earlier. I think what would be best is if we get a fence. Fence. And we kind of separate them. Because I don't really want them to be together. I don't want them killing each other. So let's put a fence around here. Perfect. Perfect. I'm really making a mess up these fences. Um, but any sort of safety, the better. So we've just finished now. Come on. Don't walk over here. Perfect. So now we can place those penguins and they will be safe. So the wolf is going to be quite nice I think to them. So let's open it up then just so they can be together. Um, if there is any problems later on with the wolves and the penguins, I will separate them for sure. Okay, so now let's go on into here. What does this say? Ah, oh, they're repairing more of the ghast. I think the ghast was definitely in there then. So, maybe the butterfly should have gone in there. Like, there's so much you can do, obviously, with the, these kind of mechanisms. Now let's see what else we have. We have crabs. Perfect. There we have the crabs kind of like jumping up and down in the water. Let's change the time because Mark's not going to be happy if our job is half finished. Can you see all the crabs jumping up and down in there? That is so funny. We have a ball. We have squirrels. Let's go in here. We have some squirrels in there, squirrels, and squirrels. And let's go up here, put, add some more squirrels. They can kind of like make a little room up there. That is perfect. So now let's see what else we have. We have gazelles. Now I don't know where to put these. I think they're gonna be quite well with the ozolots. So let's put them in here. If they don't do well, I'll definitely remove them later. Um, I am going to have to talk to the ozolots later and tell them not to eat them. So let's put all these back because we've now finished with these. 
And let's just do two more. We have Santa, we have a Vulture, we have Narmil, PD Frog, we have a Winter Deer. That's going to be quite cool for the penguins. And we have a Hermite Crab, we have a Bee. Hmm. Sabretooth, a Bunny. Now let's do a Bunny. And a Fly, Santa, Shark, Ice Bear, Ice Bear, Lizard, a Deer. So let's do a Deer. So we're going to finish off with these three items today. And because these deers can be quite safe, what I am going to do is go around the back and just let them roam around. I am going to put up signs to warn people that if they are scared, I will put up fences. The deers are pretty passive, to be honest. They are pretty nice. So they're going to be like a little herd now, and that is perfect. Let's also put some bunnies around here because those are quite nice. We can have like a little feeding area for them because, you know, why not? And also let's do... Um, some more deers around here and now the winter deers and that looks perfect so now let's just go around to see real quick we've got the giraffes with what's his name the iron golem well that's pretty obvious we have penguins with the wolves I think they're gonna have to sort out that ghast area later we have the bears with the squirrels oh those are pretty scary I'll check out those later and oh I like these ones so much so I think that kind of like wraps up this mod and also I think he's going to be pretty happy. Do you think we should write in the book? Let's get a book out and let's write him a message. So we've gone book with a quill, we've gone book. So let's write him a message. Let's say, hi Mark. I hope you're happy with the animals we have found. Let me know, brothers. That is perfect. Done. And let's put that in the chest and we are done here. Bye villagers. We're going to leave now. We have done so much. We have seen everything. I think we should take our book out also. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. There will be download links in the description. If you want to find out anything else also, just ask me down below in the commentary area and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all soon. Peace out.